What's Hattie doing for Adina? Ah, she, ah. You hear that silence? She pushes Adina to, to do what? Do what? Love and uh, cherish uh, Hattie. <laughs> We are behind the scenes on season two of 20s. Season two of 20s, it's an emotional journey. Hattie's still a hot mess. Of course she's broke. She gets kicked out of Marie and Chuck's house. So she's homeless. She just gets hit back to back to back. But also too, what's interesting about this season is the secrets that the girls keep from each other. Marie hates it, of course. She hates anything that's not serious. I know, I keep telling her to lighten up. We've been telling her that for years. Hey, hey, we're back. Behind the scenes of 20 oh, season two. Oh, there's no on here. Good morning, everyone. Let's welcome the newest member of the cast playing the role of Valentina, Nia Baptiste. We see Nia really getting serious about her craft and acting. There's a few bumps on the way and she, she kind of figures out how to deal with that while trying to create a career in acting and also a career in, in social media. Oh my God! I'm a gift. <laughs> Damn, they really like that show, huh? Don't step on my moment just because you had to go back to the workforce. Nia Gervier, who Nia, that character is loosely based on, she's one of my closest friends, comes and joins the cast. Your purpose is to get a real job, be a good wife, have children, be a respectable daughter. Vanessa is Nia's bougie, bossy sister. Lena is one of my dearest and best friends, and Nia's based on me. So it's very easy to play her sister, and I think Vanessa actually wishes she had a little bit of Nia in her. Nia, Jervia, and Gabrielle have wonderful chemistry, and they feel like sisters, they look like sisters, and I have an older sister. I really want to kind of get into that sisterly bond as well this season. I'm an artist. I'm built for this. I don't need your help. You are jobless and alone. Okay, I still teach yoga. 20s has always been blessed with <laughs> special guest stars, and this season's no different. Big Sean is back. I had a dog like this, a Shark Terry. Yeah. And somebody stole Oh, you know, no. His name was Pocket. Kim Whitley is back. I said I knit, but I didn't say I was, uh, what the hell? I'm an actress. <laughs> oh, I thought he was recording me cussing. <laughs> Okay. I'm a Christian. And Jessica, I'm Praise the Lord. You oh, we got some new faces. Louis Anderson is there. And action. Oh, my bad. Is this the house? That's the house. Let me go to the Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm going to go over. Marie goes through a pretty big evolution this year, I think. She's figuring out what she feels about her engagement to Chuck and how she feels about some of these other guys who are on her mind. She's also really trying to make a big like professional advancement, working with Quintrell on this movie they've got going, and there's some hurdles along the way. Well, just make sure they give you what you're worth. There isn't enough money in the world for that. I'd argue if I could. This season, Zach starts to really fall in love, but he's incredibly conflicted because he understands that love can oftentimes get in the way of his uh, maybe second favorite thing, which is money and success. And action. Hey. Can you come back in? I'm sorry. <laughs> sure. In his own words, he's, I think he's trying to become a little bit more woke. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> set, set, and action. Okay. That move boy is looking good. Well, this isn't my first rodeo. Quintrell is trying to help produce a movie still. And the negotiation is going a little further right now. And of course, he's just head over heels for Marie. He just, he see it for her. He see it for her. Hey! Behind the scenes on the set of season two of 20s. Oh, look at you. Season one, I was Barista Bay. That was the name that social the socials gave me. This season, we get to see more of Adina, where she lives, what she does, who she is outside of the coffee shop, and who she is when she is crushing on Hattie and maybe making some moves. Hattie, huh? What's wrong? Hattie's the lucky one, okay? Hattie is definitely the, the one who's coming up off of Adina, okay? Action. 
bunch of hoes. Check out the show for moments of shallow hoochie me. Like, uh -uh. But for real, you might catch some hunching. Just a little hunching, like you know, nothing too serious. Nothing like, too serious, like, but you know, hide and go get it. Hide and go get style. it. We we talking too much. We are. <laughs> <laughs> ain't playing this. Hey. Hi. I like your outfit. Thanks. So, do send you flowers now? Tristan and Nia's story is a very relatable one. It's a story of authentic feelings that could possibly be love, you know what I'm saying? I think they're, they're exploring each other and figuring each other out more and more. Now your energy is negative and I don't wanna be around it, so if it's cool with you, I'd like to head back so we can get in the car and I can take you home. It's cool to see, see them figure out new parts of each other and discover new feelings on their own as themselves as well. Who's Ben? I thought you didn't get jealous. I'm just curious. He works with Marie. Nia and Tristan, he catches her by surprise. And she's trying to figure out if she wants to continue this or not. I feel like she's always deciding, like, should I just focus on my career or should I focus on these, these men that are trying to pursue me? I don't know. It'll feature people falling in, uh, yeah, so, uh, blind? It'll feature people in the Got it, got it. Action! Hey. Hmm? Oh. Mm -hmm. Hattie does evolve. She finds a writing group and I think that becomes her foundation and her stability in terms of having accountability to accomplishing and finishing the script and making it happen and writing a really well thought through script. And action. I am so sorry to keep you all waiting. I'm Reverend Ty Hardy. There's so much going on There's between so our much. characters this uh, season. As we like try to prepare for our wedding, should we, should we not? And being honest with each other about like our sexuality and our choices. And, and what, what a relationship and, and friendship can be. And there are some other people we might have our eyes on too. There's a lot going on There's with a lot. Chuck and Marie. Are you really excited about this bougie ass new year? Uh, yes. Marie's about to have the wedding of my dreams. Oh, that's why you're excited. And we do, says Richard, don't get divorced. That's it, good luck, please. So it's just a little bit different, a little bit more banter in right. that kind of intro at the time. I am the mother of the, I guess, the groom-to-be at the engagement party. Our advice is very simple. Just don't get divorced. That's pretty much it. <laughs> we are excited about the engagement and the nuptials, but we'll see what happens. Hmm. But I want to throw a party, and damn it, it looks beautiful. Good luck, kids. <laughs> Good luck. And we'll go again for sound. So today we're shooting a engagement scene. I'll let you decide who you'd like to see engaged. I know who I'd like to see engaged, uh, but we're shooting that in celebration. And hopefully it ends up in a marriage. Or I can send it to you electronically. You can have it on your phone. They tape it right here. Can we put it right there? If that's what you need, we'll do it. I'm Shelly. I take care of JoJo. <laughs> no, I'm in wardrobe. Hi. Look at this. Don't catch the ashy ankles yet. You see me, you try to catch me slipping. You see me trying to put some lotion on. <laughs> so fun. Head to toe. This is like my 90s sort of feel. And background action. Hi. Oh my god, it's so good to see Hey girl, hey. Courtney, do you miss me? I miss you doing the busy work around the office. It sucks, don't it? Mm -hmm. A lot of wonderful things happen in this season, you know, with like interesting things between Marie and Chuck and then them exploring outside of their relationship and, you know, Hattie moves in with Lauren. But for me personally, like, I feel like Courtney gets to shine in 210, so that's what I'm most excited about. I just want you to know that I'm here for you. Sister to sister. Lauren has a lot of fun stuff this season. I don't want to give away too much, but she gets to keep hanging out with Hattie, which we love. They're a really, really fun dynamic duo. I think Lauren is figuring out ways to get a little bit stronger when anything happens to her. It's all redirection. It's not anything bad. So she's going to be OK, I think. If I have food in my mouth, I embody the food. This is how I get ready. And you keep saying I beg your pardon, I'm sorry. I don't want anyone to talk to me. 
We are with the hilariously funny Donnell Rawlins today, and I'm so excited. I put you on the list. It's my show. I'm the headliner. What do you mean? Can my girls come? Are you cute? My name is Donnell Rawlins. I'm a classically trained thespian performer, and it was so difficult for them to fly me private to get here to do this. I had a day uh, free, so I said, let me just stop there and be a part of this. And I still feel I'm going to get three broads pregnant at the same time. I'm so excited to be a part of 20s, because I haven't been 20 in 20 years. So I get to relive the fantasy of, of the fa Can someone get that for me, please? Thanks to everyone that was part of this. Thanks for the people that were lucky enough to have me here. Make up! Come into the stage right now. I mean, we, we, we got a legend in the game, okay? I am playing the host at the comedy club that we are filming right now. I get to introduce Donnell Rollins and he comes up and he is hilarious. So just to see everything go down and to be able to introduce him, it's amazing, it's fun, I enjoy it.